but this house really isn't large enough for a gym to go anywhere. I told Nick I was gonna put all of it in the garage and he was like, no you're not. <laughs> this isn't all about external looks and stuff, but some of it is, and I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't fit into anything anymore, and I wanna fit into my shit again. I've not taken a sip of this freshly cracked Red Bull, so just excuse me for a second. No, I don't even feel pregnant, to be honest with you, other than the fact that I'm kind of a moody bitch sometimes. After all that setup, and I forgot my remote to turn this on and off the recording. <laughs> I also haven't figured out a way to get my record times back on my monitor. So I'm gonna try not to make this a very rambly, long, annoying video to listen to. And I'm pretty sure one of my eyelashes has fallen off. She just can't anymore today. And I'm, I'm kind of right there with her. Whew, I just put this super cozy outfit on, but now that I've been running around back and forth, I'm getting kind of hot in it. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna drink this Red Bull right here and chat about, and drink my water while we're talking about health. Hopefully I can cool down <laughs> and hopefully the audio is good. I've got the mic right here. I did a little setup out here so we could do something a little different. Um, so in the beginning of this year, I kind of talked like a little bit on my podcast and a little bit in some other videos about just like some goals for 2023. So, and if you hear any, that buzzing noise in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can, that is my ice maker. Sorry, that thing is loud. It is on Nick's to-do list to make it not so loud. Actually, probably help if I took these off. These are so hot. So as I talked about a little bit before, I had some goals for, and have some goals for 2023 for just my overall health and how my body looks just straight up and like how I feel and all of that good stuff. So um, I started this journey actually kind of mid-December and I was like, why do I need to wait till the beginning of the year to like get back to the gym? So I was planning on making a gym in my house here, but this house really isn't large enough for a gym to go anywhere. So that wasn't really an option. I told Nick I was gonna put all of it in the garage and he was like, no, you're not. <laughs> so I had to join a gym. So I joined a gym in mid-December and that felt really good to kind of get a jump start on the new year because summer bodies are made in the winter. And you know, this isn't all about external looks and stuff, but some of it is, and I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't fit into anything anymore since I had my baby and I wanna fit into my shit again. So yes, I wanna feel good, but I also wanna look good and look good and feel good about how I look. And so everyone's just like, I'm comfortable with like a certain weight for myself. So this video in, is in no way meant to like make it sound like all I care about is how I look and I don't care about the health and anything. So don't let that be your takeaway. But for me, I do care how I look and I'm just gonna be honest about that. I care about how I, I look. I care about how I look for myself, my husband, um, fitting in a clothes again. So, um, so I started, um, and hopefully it's not too boring with me just sitting here talking at you guys. I just cannot do my makeup or anything else when I'm trying to talk about something I'm passionate about. I just can't do it. I got a lot of, I do a lot of hand talking and it just, it doesn't work for me. So hopefully this works for you. It's kind of more like a podcast, I guess. Um, so <laughs> this feels weird talking about it on camera since I really haven't yet, but I am 15 weeks pregnant. So I would say about two weeks after I joined the gym near my house, I found out that I was pregnant and I was just like, well, fuck. I mean, obviously I'm very excited and I was very excited, but half of me was just like, well, fuck. like I'm not even back to my pre-pregnancy weight from Harlow. Um, I was starting off at 156 when I got pregnant and then I actually lost six pounds. I just spit everywhere. I lost six pounds because I have changed my, I shouldn't say I've changed, but I've worked on my relationship with food and I started working out. So I was just gonna talk a little bit about 
kind of what that looks like for me moving forward and a conversation that I had with Nick that was like really uplifting for me and maybe it is for you. Maybe you're pregnant alongside me also or maybe you had a baby and you're trying to lose that weight, that baby weight and get back to your old self or maybe you have never been the weight that you wanna be and you want some inspiration or you know who knows what your story is but we all start somewhere and it takes work. It's It takes work. Um, so where do I start? I probably should have written notes down on this, but essentially I was just like, well, shit, like how am I supposed to get, I, like the, not the last thing I wanted, but kind of the last thing I wanted was to get pregnant again before I was back to my pre-pregnancy weight. So I got, when I got pregnant, I was 156 pounds. I ended up losing six pounds in the first like 12 weeks because I changed my relationship with food. I was doing things a little bit different, which I'll talk about what those are. Um, I have not had any morning sickness, so it wasn't from that. I've been eating just fine. I, I don't even feel pregnant to be honest with you, other than the fact that I'm kind of a moody bitch sometimes and I'm hungry all the time. I have not taken a sip of this freshly cracked Red Bull, so just excuse me for a second. I've been limiting the shit out of my caffeine intake as well. Like I pretty much don't drink caffeine or eat caffeine during the day. So where do we begin? So for me, I just really wanted to like get back to feeling good about the way that I look and like, yes, you should love your body any way you come, any way it comes, however you look. And I struggle with that because I'm the heaviest I have like ever been in my whole life other than when I was pregnant with my daughter. So it's hard, like I struggle with it. Just cause I'm on YouTube making videos doesn't mean that I'm perfect and I have it all figured out and I am this perfect example. I don't claim to be that and I'm not that. So please don't get offended by anything I say in this video. I, it just, it's just, I'm just gonna go with what's on the top of my mind. So for 2023, one of the things I talked about um, in different, in past videos is like, so like we're in March now, so we're, we're, we're getting into 2023. But I really wanted to stop overeating and watch my portion control and just be like conscious of that. And I really wanted to get back to the gym for about four days a week and lift weights, do cardio. And I'm the type of person, I used to actually have a fitness Instagram. I used to weigh 123 pounds and I felt and looked great, but I was also 24 years old. So I have to keep that in mind and so do you. I am 34 years old now. I cannot believe that was 10 years ago. But I used to like eat my food like on a timer. I would weigh out my meat. I wouldn't use certain spices because I didn't want them to make my appetite. Like I was like really into it. I went to the gym twice a day. Like that is not sustainable for me. So when I say lift weights and cardio, I'm not going to be doing sprints ever again in my life, I don't think. I mean, never say never, but I hate them. I hate running. So that's just not something I'm willing to do. And maybe you are, some people are, and they reap all the benefits from it. I'm not one of those people. I would rather do an hour and a half cardio and watch junk TV and burn the same amount of calories than do like crazy, crazy, just like sprints. The other, I just laughing because the other day we were walking around our neighborhood and Nick was like, should I, can I put a, together a workout for us? Like, would you do it? And I was like, oh, my hair's looking a little flat. Um, he's like, would you do it? And I was like, honestly, uh, maybe like, I don't know, like, what do you, what do you got? And he's like, Oh, we're going to sprint from here to up the hill. And I was like, no, absolutely not. Like, have you seen me? First of all, you're not supposed to start new activities and strenuous stuff, weightlifting, et cetera, that you're not used to once you're pregnant. Secondly, I don't sprint and I don't run anymore. Those are two things that I just won't do. The big fake boobs don't help, but I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. You're not talking me into it. I'm not doing it. So there's that but I wanted to get to the gym, watch my portion control, and stop eating by 7 p.m. every single evening. So I have done that, and it helped me lose six pounds. So I went from 156 to 150, and when I got pregnant with Harlow, I was 142, and I wanted to be 132, but again, then I got pregnant before I hit my goal. So I feel like it's just kind of rolled up over the time, and maybe you can relate to that. Maybe you have multiple children, and each time was kind of like back to back, and you didn't quite get to that weight. It sucks, but that's where we're at. So. I have been allowing myself to have one cheat meal per week and I have been allowing myself to cheat throughout the week when I feel like it too. But 
I'm trying to also just change my relationship with food and know that I cannot be eating as much bread as I'd like every day if I'd like to fit into my old clothing again at some point and feel good about myself. So I have cut out my toast in the morning. I've cut out most bread throughout the day for the most part, and that's actually been really easy for me. I didn't think it would be. But if there's an opportunity where we're out by the beach and there's fries on the menu, I'm gonna get the fries. I'm just gonna work out a little harder at the gym the next day, so that's kind of what I've been doing. And I wanna share a conversation with you that I had with Nick because it made me feel good. So when I got pregnant and I had been going to the gym for two weeks, I was very excited. I was like, yes, I'm gonna like get, like, I'm, I'm gonna get back to where I wanna be before I get pregnant again, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna feel great. I'm gonna fit in my old jeans that I fit in to before I had Harlow, and it's gonna be wonderful. I went and spent $500 at Nordstrom Rack. I bought new jeans for my size, not now, but before before I found out I was pregnant again. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna buy these for now so that at the end of my next pregnancy, I have something that I will fit into because I was like refusing to spend the money on jeans that were like a 32 or something because I'm a 27, okay? And that's what I should fit in, right? No. So things change, people change, I change. So I was like, look, I'm just gonna get my ass some 32s, some 33s, what I feel comfortable in, what fits me, and meet myself where I'm at and just go from there. And I'll have these jeans for after my next pregnancy. Like, not a big deal. I have to hit this ice maker. It is so loud. <sighs> so I got the jeans and then I found out I was pregnant. I was like, great. So I just got a gym membership. I'm doing all this stuff. I'm on the road to success, but I'm not seeing any results yet because it's only been two weeks. So I'm talking to Nick and I'm like, ugh, like, like I'm so happy I'm pregnant. Don't get me wrong but I'm like so bummed because I really wanted to lose like 20 pounds before I got pregnant again. And I'm still not even to my pre-pregnancy weight with Harlow. And then I was even still 10 pounds away from where I wanted to be. So I just kind of was feeling like this pregnancy weight is just piling up on me and I, I want to be healthy and I want to be fit. And I had a lot of back pain with Harlow when I was pregnant because I couldn't work out for like quite a bit of the pregnancy because of that back pain and then my feet swelled up and my ankles and that's a whole other story. But basically Nick was like, look, you can still shape up and tone up and gain muscle and lose fat where you don't want it while you're pregnant. You know, he was like, cause I was like, oh, you're not supposed to like lose weight while you're pregnant. Like, what am I gonna do? And it turns out you can lose weight healthy while you're pregnant because I lost six pounds and that's a lot, that's a lot. I lost six pounds in like two weeks or maybe it's three weeks. No, actually I lost six pounds in, since I started working out in the middle of December. Um, so it took me a little while, but like I did it in a very healthy way. Like I'm snacking, I'm eating what I'm supposed to eat. I'm drinking tons of water. Um, not drinking alcohol also obviously helps, but, um, yeah. So he, he just encouraged me to still go to the gym and still eat the way that I was eating like a, a healthy way and to stop eating at 7 PM. And he just was like, you can still, reach goals. Like you're probably not going to drop weight like you want to, but at least you will have the muscle to be strong during your pregnancy and you will feel good about yourself. Not only because it releases endorphins, but you'll be gaining muscle and toning yourself. So I was very excited about that. Cause I was like, you're right. Like I can, I can do this. Like I can tone up while I'm pregnant. So that's what I've been doing. I am now fully showing at the gym. Like I have a belly, like I cannot hide it. So before I was like, I just look like I've been here working out and I'm just getting chunkier. But now I full on look pregnant, so that's been great. So stopping eating at 7 p.m. has been great for me. Let's do a little recap of the things that I have changed. I have changed my portions. I have realized that I don't need to keep eating when I'm not hungry anymore and it will be there next time it's made or next time I wanna go get it. Um, I have, um, stopped eating at 7 PM. I don't really eat after that. There are certain times that I do like Nick made me ice cream, uh, an ice cream mug last night. We eat ice cream and mugs for portion control, um, made me that at 8:30 last night. So I ate that. So it's not like a very super regimented. I'm just being conscious and being like mindful of what I'm consuming and what time. And I've also cut out 
bread for the most part. I'm not really eating bread and I am working out a minimum of four days a week and I'm trying to get as much walking and cardio in. I've been, I've been using my Apple Watch and I just took some photos and I realized I did not put it back on yet. So I'm, I've missed out on quite a few steps today, okay? <laughs> so I've been tracking my steps and I don't know what a normal step amount for people is, but I put my goal every day at 450. So I'm curious what yours is because I have, I have no like sounding board with that. Like I don't know anyone that wears one really. So I'm curious what you guys have your set at. Some days I'm super sedentary though and I'm just sitting editing videos or sitting my ass like I am right now talking to a camera. <laughs> so those are the main things that I've changed and it's kind of crazy because I realized like muscle memory is a real thing. Like me working out all of those years in my twenties and stuff like hardcore has paid off because I do have muscle under there. So I've started to see some more tone in me, in my arms, um, and my legs and I'm just feeling good. And so that's part of my goal too, is just to gain muscle so that I am able to hold myself as I gain weight with this pregnancy so that my back isn't killing me like it was before. And maybe it still will, but I'm really hoping that as I strengthen my body, um, I just am able to be prepared for labor better. I'm able to be prepared more for just carrying extra weight in general. So that's kind of where I'm at. That's been my journey. And those have been kind of like the changes that I've made that had like helped me lose those six pounds. And I haven't weighed myself for a few days, but I had gained three pounds back, um, from this pregnancy and I'm 15 weeks. So it's been like about a week since I weighed myself. So when I was about 14 weeks, I had already gained three pounds back, which is totally fine. Um, and I was, I'm, I was 153. So we'll have to see what I am right now. Um, but yeah, and I've also just been like letting myself have that snack if I want it here and there. I just am being mindful about when I had one last and like what I am going to do to like burn it off. Um, but like I had a bag of gushers earlier because I absolutely love gushers, but for the most part I eat pretty clean and pretty healthy and I don't put a lot of cheese on things. So it's just been, you know, one of those things you just have to kind of change your relationship with food. And it's hard for me because I'm the type of person that like, like when people get stressed, some people get stressed, they like lose weight. Like I am kind of envious of those people because I do the complete opposite. If I am upset, sad, angry, mad, depressed, I eat my feelings and I love a good cheat meal. I love my snacks. Like I look forward to eating the things that I love to eat. Like I straight up get a boner about eating certain things and I get very excited about it. So when that's like when you're working really hard and that's like your joy, you know, part of like one of your big joys, you know, you have to find other things. Like I like this Red Bull a lot. Like I'll allow myself to have like one or two a week. And when I have that, I just really enjoy it. So that's something that I love. I also do my decaf espresso about twice a day two, three times a day sometimes. And it's like just those things have become my vices instead of certain things like hot Cheeto fries. <laughs> I still love my hot Cheeto fries, but honestly, I've had two bags in the cupboard for a while and I have not touched them. Um, and I just like to get on Pinterest and watch TV shows that have people who are leading healthy lifestyles. And I find that very, um, inspiring as well. So that is pretty much everything that I can think of right now. So cheers to getting in shape and being healthy while I'm pregnant and getting my tone back and just kind of like taking my body back. So I think as I do this, I will be more prepared to fit back into those old jeans and just feel extra good about myself after I've popped this baby out. And I feel like I'll be able to bounce back sooner because I hope that I can breastfeed longer with this baby. Hopefully my body knows what it's doing. And at this, and at that time, I'll just be ahead of the game. That would be just so ideal because that really helps you lose a lot of weight. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything just, I just want to stay inspired and stay, that's my ice maker again, <laughs> but it's actually actively making ice, which is what that noise is. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys. Like what are your goals and health and fitness goals for 2023? Do you have any? And if you don't, that's totally okay too. Do you do whatever makes you happy, but those are mine. And I'm excited to see what the future holds. I'm excited to continue on this journey and hopefully my cravings don't fuck me up too much because those have been 
I've had some cravings during this pregnancy and I had none with Harlow. Like I had no cravings when I was pregnant with my daughter whatsoever. But now with this one, I almost said their name. <laughs> um, with this one, I'm like, I do have cravings. I'm like, I need a quesadilla with avocado on it like right now. So that's interesting how those things are different. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What kind of what, leave some words of encouragement for me and others down there, or tell me where you're at with your health journey this year. And I hope you guys are having a great day and we will talk to you in the comments. Thanks for listening to me babble for however long it's been, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.